Welcome to our channel. Welcome to another one of our videos. Today we're going to talk about square slash block. We got some information for you and we're also going to go through the chart and our balance. So let's get busy. For the end of March, we achieved $10,183 for the premiums and profits. Of that, the net profit is $2,391. And for April so far, we achieved $760 worth of premiums and profits. Square dropped 1.46% on Friday. After hours, it dropped a little bit more. The volume was at $15 million versus almost $22 million. Market cap is $77 billion. Annual's low side is 110, the high side is 310, the average is 182, and we're currently at between the lows and the average. Short interest. Currently, the short interest is 7.41%. There was a change between uh, February 28th and March 15th of about 3 million shares less shorted, which is a positive thing for the bulls. First article we're going to cover is two tech growth stocks to buy now and hold forever. Just came out. They're stating that uh, Facebook and Block can be bought and holds go down here to Block. They talk a little bit about the business where they change their name from Square to Block and what services it provides, inv invoicing, marketing, cash flow management, and more. They're talking about the Block ecosystems have been immersely successful. Uh, the company reported total revenues of $17.7 billion for 2021. That's roughly 86% higher than the previous fiscal year. And I'm talking about Jack Dorsey as a CEO and how he's transforming the company and performing this buy now, pay later system in place and believes that's going to be beneficial for the stock for years to come. So I'm going to place this article down below. Let's move on to the next one. Can Jack Dorsey lead Block to its 10 times potential? Now there's a little video here I want you to watch. And it'll, it'll discuss this going back and forth between these uh, two analysts. It's a great read for you all. Moving on to the chart. As you can see here, the 200 day passed through. There was a death cross here on uh, 1129 of last year. And it's been, the stock has been falling. And it came all the way down here to the $100 mark or 95 levels. And then we got this pop just recently on March 18th. But there's a ceiling at 146.84. Once it hit that, it dropped. And it's been dropping the last four or five days. So I believe what we're going to do is we're going to, we could retest the lows again because of the market and this would be my buy points down here around the 100 maybe the 110 and then go ahead and ride it back up here if you're a trader and sell it at about the 145s if you're a long-term buyer just buy it down here and hold it it's going to be a rocky year for all these different tech stocks does this hang in there the rsi is kind of in the middle it's at around 54 so we're not over overbought and we're definitely not oversold down here at the 30 levels so we're kind of right in the middle. I appreciate everybody watching our video today. I wanted to make a quick video, get this information out to you on Square slash Block. If you have any questions, comments, place them down below or any news that came up uh, recently to share with, with the uh, Block and Square audience. Until next time, you guys take care. This is Sunny. I'm out.